job, Shirley. Want to borrow Brewster Brewster? No, thanks. Oh. Morning, guys. Um, I just had a little bit of breakfast, just giving Indy her breakfast and about to drop her to nursery, pop to the gym, and then come back home and get on with the rest of the day. And is that nice pizza bix mm -hmm. <laughs> the gym I just showered had a little post-workout kind of smoothie I did a leg day today and I hadn't done one for a little while so I was dying <laughs> I was trying to like do the best do the most that I could do but oh my god yeah it was quite hard yeah but it was a good workout so today I'm filming a little day in the life it's been a while and I just thought it'd be nice to kind of do something normal you know and just chat and bring you guys with me so i'm not doing tons in the day today i'm going to be filming later i'm going to go and see a film with my friend and i'm so excited i'm going to go and see Mid midsummer or midsummer midsummer it's a monday so it's just a bit of a kind of catch up day and like getting on top of work and everything and like emails filming and bits and bobs as I always say <laughs> that should be my catchphrase and this video is actually in collaboration with Bare Minerals who are such a lovely brand and it's a brand that I think I first I bought their first foundation so long ago like I was so young so it's always it's been a brand that's always been like in my makeup collection so their foundation is uh, cruelty free it's vegan it's very clean the formula is very clean so I felt like kind of uh, you know bringing that that theme along you know with me in this video I love kind of eating clean and like kind of living as cleanly as I can anyway uh, and we just came back from a little family kind of weekend away so I'm definitely trying to get back on the wagon <laughs> sorry if I sound a little bit bunged up I've got hay fever but it's been so bad this year. Cleanse my skin. I'm going to use their moisturiser before I apply the foundation. I'm just going to do a little makeup on camera. This is the Skin Longevity Vital Power Moisturiser. So as you guys probably know, I'm always... I always prefer to use much lighter foundations on my skin for summer. So this is perfect it feels really, really nice and light and airy. And I hadn't used it, I hadn't used it for a while, so it's kind of nice to rediscover it as well. Applied a primer as well, because I feel like it will kind of sit on the skin a little bit better with a little bit of a primer underneath. And then this is the one I'm going to be using. It's the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. And the packaging is so cute. Like, it's so small and cute, and it's just, like, so easy to use. My colour at the moment is Natural Medium 15. And I'm going to be using their, what is this called? Beautiful Finish Brush. I love this little kabuki and it's got like little ray it's got a raised edge so that it captures all of the foundation as you apply and it just like blends it all in. So I just open it up, looks like that. And then you just tap a little bit into the into the lid. You don't really need that much. And then um, swirl around in the cap with the brush and apply. It feels and applies so creamily. It's really nice on the skin. And you guys know, like, I never, like, you know, with my foundations, I'm quite picky. I don't like for them to make my skin look dry or heavy or anything. And 
this doesn't do either. So it's kind of like a sheer to medium coverage. And I put a little bit on earlier for the gym because I, I do like to wear a little bit of makeup in the gym just because, just, I don't know, it's just a little confidence boost for myself. I put a really, really sheer coverage on of it this morning and then now I'm gonna go a bit more medium because I'm gonna be filming today. I've got a few of their brushes here as well. So I'm just gonna take this one. This looks so nice. The shade and diffuse eye brush, but I'm just gonna use that to actually go in and like touch up a few areas where I've got my breakouts, uh, just with a little bit more of the same product. Just adding a bit more coverage here. I'm gonna put a little bit more under the eyes because you know me and my dark circles. <laughs> color I'm using is a slightly lighter color. This one is golden beige 13. I love the finish. I love that you can still see a little bit of a glow on my skin. Um, I'm gonna add a bit of bronzer. I'm using the Bare Minerals bronzer in warmth. Just thinking, are there any updates I can chat about? Oh, Indy's toilet training. So that's what's been going on at our house at the moment. Indy is potty training, but she she prefers going straight onto the toilet, which is really good. Like she's not that bothered about sitting on a potty. She's like straight on the toilet with the seat covering. It's so cute. We're so proud. We're like such proud parents. Yeah, we just went to Cornwall on a little family uh, weekend. Went to St. Ives. And we went to New Key as well. And I got so many, like I went picture crazy. I, like, I took my film camera and I was like taking so many pictures so I can't wait to get them developed. I was suffering from the worst, literally the worst uh, hay fever I've ever had. Okay, can someone tell me, is the pollen count super high in Cornwall or something? Cause I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Like the earth is trying to kill me. <laughs> okay, I got two highlighters. I think I'm gonna go with Fierce because I'm really liking the more goldy, kind of like, like more gold highlight at the moment as opposed to the champagne sort of color. So this is my makeup done for the day. I've kind of gone for a summery, warm, glowy skin. Uh, if you wanna get your hands on any of those products as well, I'll have everything linked down below. And so yeah, please get on with the day. I've got emails to do, I've got a phone call to have. And I'm gonna make some lunch as well. I'm gonna try and make a nice healthy lunch. Cause you know, after you've been to the gym as well, you you wanna keep that health kick kind of going. Later on as well, I'm gonna go for dinner with my friend Jenny, and uh, we're gonna to go to Chiquitos. I haven't been there for ages, and I think it's like Mexican and American food. So yeah, let's do this together. I've got no idea what clean things might be on the menu, <laughs> or slightly more healthy things, so I haven't even looked at the menu yet. So yeah, we'll figure that out when we get there. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm gonna to go to the cinema, and I'm so excited. The last film, from this director was Hereditary, which I cracked my pants. So I've just stood up from my little filming area, so I thought I'd show you it also in more natural light, which I actually, why didn't I just film in natural light? I'm gutted. I love it. <laughs> my skin still feels like skin as well. Lovely. So I'm just setting up to shoot a picture for an Instagram post that I'm doing, but I I need some coffee. I'm gonna go make it coffee. I was just passing our toilet and I thought, cause I obviously mentioned in these toilet training, maybe I'll show you guys this little seat that she likes. So, cause we've got two, we've got this one, like a little portable one, which has been good when we were away, but um, she likes this one. Like she, this is her, her one of choice. So it folds up like that. We just got it from Amazon. It's so good. And then it's just really comfy for her and it's like, it's, um, you know, she can 
hold on to the handles. It's so cute. Also, I really often get questions about what our coffee machine is. So it's a, it's a sage one. I'll show you guys. It's sage. Oh God, I don't know the exact name actually, but this is what it looks like anyway, if you wanted to like, you know, pause and you can find it online, obviously. It is, um, it's one of our biggest investments that we've made, but we use it multiple times a day and we're obsessed with coffee. So for us, it's been well worth money actually. I should probably be making matcha, shouldn't I, for a clean video, but today I need my coffee. <laughs> sitting at my desk and it's a quite a lot later now it's like 5 p.m yeah i'm just having a little snack um organic chickpea puffs they're good now it's about 6 p.m so i'm just gonna go and pick india up from nursery and then we'll have we always have a little bit of chill time when she comes back from nursery and then i'm gonna put her to bed and then run out now i'll leave in to go to the cinema and to chiquitos and I'm so excited and I just hardly ever kind of arrange things like actually you know actually arrange something with a friend and do it so it's so nice to just do something you know like that's not work and that's not mum life I'll see you probably at Chiquitos when I'm trying to decide what to have so oh today actually they just launched a vegan menu so that's perfect so we've got some vegan nachos and some guac and chips we're getting getting are they vegan they're vegan aren't yeah, they as fajitas. well vegan fajitas yes it's so good ah, this looks so good and it's sizzling Tesla. so what's your trade uh, i'm just gonna take my makeup off and get ready for bed and jump in bed i'm so so tired it was so nice to see my friend jenny and to catch up and have some good food the, that food was really good as well like I really, I really enjoy trying out vegan options when that is a vegan option. Yeah, as you guys saw, I had some popcorn. So, well, not as clean, but <laughs> popcorn and some sweets. And um, yeah, anyway, let me start taking my makeup off. I'm gonna use their skincare actually. So this is the mineral cleansing water, which I use with a like cotton pad, reusable one. And I wanna try this as well. This is the Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. Um, I think this is like a serum. <sighs> so the film, <laughs> so it's like, so is visually stunning. Such a nice film to see on the big screen, but it's just like the story and everything like wasn't what I expected. And I don't know, like, well, I didn't want to look up much about the film before going, because I always like going, you know, w without being prepped for a film. I just want to experience it without any, like, bias or anything. And because, like, the director's last film, uh, I think he's called Ari Aster, was Hereditary, which I was dying after Hereditary. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought this film would be, like, you know, has a, have as much scare factor as Hereditary. But it didn't really, honestly, like, it was a little bit, I won't spoil anything for anyone, but there's a bit, or it's quite graphic in t at times, but I wasn't scared to sleep or anything. I know I'm not 10, but sometimes I do still get scared. And I loved all the actors, like, it's such a well-made film, but yeah. <laughs> at the end, you're just like, what? If you've seen it, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I just I just thought it would be more scary. And also, I feel like because like you can see obviously in the trailer as well, it's kind of culty. So I thought it would be like culty with like a twist on it or something. And if anyone's seen The Wicker Man, it's a bit like that. But I feel like The Wicker Man scared me a bit more. So these are the reusable cotton, not cotton, but <laughs> the reusable pads that you just put in the wash also what's so nice about the bare minerals foundation is that um it can it helps your skin like the longer you wear it the better it is for your skin because it's it's like much kinder to your skin so that's good also if you're someone like me who breaks out a lot so i would say to go see midsummer 
Um, like, I'm really glad I did see it at the cinema. But yeah, really different to Hereditary. But I guess it's like you shouldn't always compare, you know, each film to another film. Oh, what I think is important to know though, which probably would have helped going in, is that it's more of a film about a relationship than it is like a horror, if that makes sense. I hope you guys enjoyed coming around with me today. Um, I know I didn't do a lot during the day, it's just I was just working from home, so that's just like what happens, but I'm just gonna use the uh, Vital Power Infusion. I just went to grab the night cream. This is the Vital Power Sleeping Gel Cream. is a dream that feels so hydrating on my skin this would be amazing after like a long long day when your skin feels really tired and like dry yeah it was a good day it fit a lot into today <laughs> probably shouldn't have eaten all of that popcorn and the sweets because i'm already breaking out but it's life thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one bye